How you doing? I'm Chris Ignato, and I want to show you something so cool. I only see these once in a while, but they are amazing looking. Have a look. This is a mud structure of one of the type of wasps in the Eumenides family. These wasps are relatively modest in size. They're not very big. And the ones in my area are predominantly black with a little bit of a whitish or yellowish accent. This is, a, of course, a solitary species of wasp, and the whole reason why she is creating this nest is to, well, stuff it with paralyzed food. That food being invertebrates, she'll hunt them down, she'll sting them and paralyze them, and bring them back into this little larder, if you will. And before this little nest is complete, she will seek out and paralyze the invertebrate prey, more specifically, various crickets and caterpillars. She'll place that food within this nest and then lay an egg on it. After that she will close it up and go about her business making more of these nests. Now while appreciating this little masterpiece of a structure, the architect is appropriately referred to as a potter wasp. I absolutely love this species and they're somewhat common in my area, but I rarely see the wasp itself. I usually see this little larder. Pretty sure you can imagine what happens next. That egg will hatch, the little wasp larva will feed on the paralyzed food and begin to develop. Once development is complete, the wasp will just simply chew a hole into the nest and fly out and the life cycle continues. I mean, how about that? You know, the invertebrate world is a little bit creepy. Hashtag nature. Just like you see here, adult potter wasps often feed on nectar. I've seen them doing so many times, and so I just assume that's their favorite food source. There's over 3,000 species of potter wasp around the world. Right here is another species that's pretty common in the eastern U.S. However, I don't think they're quite as common as E. fraternus. Like I've already said, the potter wasps are relatively modest in size. I've never really seen any larger than an inch or so, and often they're a little bit smaller than that. Another thing I've noticed about these wasps is wherever I find their little nests, they're usually under some type of protection. You know, there's some kind of a roof, whether it's a leaf, you know, an actual structure or a piece of bark or a log above them, and I'm sure that's to help protect them from the rain. But I have seen them completely exposed to the elements on many occasions. These wasps are really mild-mannered, and I've handled them tons of times. I've never experienced any form of aggression at all. I mean, it's pretty cool looking, right? It might be a little bit of a grim story, but the invertebrate world always is. Anyhow, thanks a lot for watching. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.